He wants to be part of what Vin has done in the past. And now let's introduce our so it is time to meet our Hoka Festival of Miles men's milers. There is Connor Southern coming from Pittsburgh State, fourth at the NCAA Division II Championships at 1500 this year. Oshino Galen from Wyoming Track and Field. Introduced to the crowd too, Jason Clayton. Here is Connor Burns as well, wearing hit number 12. Another yeah, high school athlete, is. Connor Burns. Yep. That's right. Southern Boone High School, the fastest prep mile in Missouri history in February at the Iowa State Classic Indoor Media Range, 402.96. Ooh. Now, the Missouri all time best in the high school mile outdoors belongs to to Jason Pyra, who ran 4.04.25 in 1987. <laughs> so we could see a yep. long-time Missouri all-time best go down here as well. Not just Gary Martin, the one high school elite here in this one, but Connor Burns as well, who's going to maybe try to push for sub four here too. And there's another guy in the field that's a high schooler, Dalen Ackley. He beat Connor Burns at state. Right. So, you know, I mean, there's a big rivalry out there, but three phenomenal high school guys competing against these collegiate athletes and professional athletes. So there is Jordan Mann as well, a talented steeplechaser running his first yep. mile or 1500 this season from Ocean State Athletic Club. 1500 PB of, for him of 339.64 as he says hello to the crowd. He's never and here afraid. he is. There is Gary Martin. Sixth all time on the high school mile list at 357.98 on May the 14th at the Philadelphia Catholic League Outdoor Championships. He won Pennsylvania State titles in the 800 and the 1600 too. Last week, he will wave to the crowd and stride up to the line. There's Paul Ryan as well from Golden Coast and Adidas, an Olympic trial semifinalist, scoring a point in the NCAA final a season ago, ran four flat 02 indoors. And there is the NCAA champion. You mentioned him, Wesley Kip too, wearing that new Hoka uniform here at the Hoka Festival of Miles. Certainly one of our front runners, a young man, the NCAA Indoor National Champion in 2021, competing for Iowa State. 743 over 3K, 1314 over 5K, coming down to a quiet. Jack Ancy, keep an eye on him with hip number two. He's been at that world stage. He knows how to race. He's run 356 indoors this past winter in Boston. So we have got a really good group right here. Austin Donquist, another guy wearing hip number six, ran 357.99 indoors at Arkansas where he competed collegiately. There you see him in the all black uniform, set a new outdoor mile PB here seven years ago. He's gone sub four indoors. He's never been sub four outdoors. So he is certainly a main character in this story as well. Well, the one thing I like about Gary Martin is he said in his pre-race interview with Leo Manzano, the hard part's over. He's done it. He's gone under four now. The pressure is off for him to do that. Now he can just race. Three high schoolers, an NCAA champion, and many men who have run under four minutes for a mile in their really, really fast careers. The St. Louis Track Club Men's Mile is off and running our final gun of the night. Here we go from St. Louis. And not surprising to see Martin up front. You know, there are a lot of people talking about him. He does have pressure to run fast. There's a lot of people that are watching him. But one thing that I loved about reading about what he did after that 357 when he ran so fast as he went to Wawa, which is a very well-known <laughs> gas station. He oh, went yeah. to Wawa and he had a quesadilla and then he went and played two hours of basketball when he got home. Like this is still a kid, you know, and we want to let him be a kid. We don't want to put so much pressure on him that he forgets to go and have fun with his friends 
and still get the joy out of the sport that he needs to. He is not a professional yet, even though he is running against the pros. And he is running very quickly through 400. He is right in front of Wesley Kiptu, wearing that new NAZ Elite uniform, representing Hoka, the NCAA champion at 5K when he competed for Iowa State. But Martin is going to be aggressive here. And you certainly have to respect the boldness with which that he is running over these first 600 meters. But he's been bold in a lot of his races. I mean, yes, he's not running with the caliber of athletes he is now, but he does run very hard from the gun. He's not afraid to attack a pace, and he's very, he thinks through his races. He has a very strict plan going into it, and you could tell that he's confident, but yet he respects all around him. He's, he's a thoughtful runner, you know, and he runs very smart. One pacer off, one left, two laps to go. They are at 157, halfway through. Gary Martin leading it. Wesley Kiptu right behind him. Still anybody's race in our final race of the evening in the St. Louis Track Club Men's Mile. Jack Anstey Wesley joining Kiptu that there. group as well. One ran 356 indoors at Boston, like you mentioned. There is still lots of speed right behind the high school superstar, the future UVA distance runner, Gary Martin, who now with the Pacers stepping off, will take it all by himself. Ansi right in there. A guy that knows how to race all different types of people at all different levels. He's coming down from Flagstaff where he trains with Dark Sky. Right there on the shoulder of Gary Martin, the high schooler. And a big opportunity for sub four for many of these men who have been chasing Gary Martin since the gun. Connor Burns swung around to the outside as well, trying to join this group of three. And here comes Jack Anstey from Under Armour on the outside, followed by Martin, followed by Paul Ryan. We watch the clock and we watch these men sprint over the final 150 here in St. Louis. The crowd making a whole lot of noise. And here they come. It is Paul Ryan. In pole position, Gary Martin swinging to the outside. Jack Anstey running in second. Caleb Webb in there as well. Paul Ryan is going to take the race. How fast can Gary Martin go behind him? 355 unofficially. A personal best over the mile for your winner, Paul Ryan. What a greatly timed race for Paul Ryan. Just waiting, winding it up lap by lap with 200 to go, getting into position, waiting still on the turn until he finally came off, swinging wide and really powering home. But you got to give it up to Gary Martin. He puts himself in position. The very start of this race, you could see how he got himself into the lead. He powered through that big sea of athletes. But look at the excitement they're having for all of the athletes out there. Pretty fired up for Burns. Connor Burns very excited as we await the official results coming our way in just a moment. We will tell you where each of these young men and men finished. But what a brave race from Gary Martin once again. <laughs> Here are the official results in the St. Louis Track Club Men's Mile. And welcome to the Sub 4 Club, Connor Burns, 358. Woo! 83, an all-time Missouri best. Gary Martin running 357.89. As you see the replay there of the finish. Connor Burns, someone we didn't get to see very much, but right there, right behind Gary Martin. He's got to be pumped about that. He's got his Hoka hat on. He's all smiles. He's tired, but that was a phenomenal race. Fifth place there. Giving it up, too. We didn't get to mention hip number five, Caleb Webb. He had a great race, too. Ran 358 indoors this year. Running a smart race today. 
But those two high schoolers, America's next best. And that would put Connor Burns right behind Gary Martin on the all-time U.S. high school mile list. Gary Martin is Ooh. sixth coming into this competition. And now, welcome Connor Burns, eighth all-time on the U.S. top 10 list at a mile. Gary Martin, 357, 89 for him. A slight improvement. He moves about a tenth of a second closer to Drew Hunter, who is in fifth. But you are looking at the sixth and seventh fastest high school boys milers in U.S. history. And oh. look at the mob coming to get him as well. That is so cool. Look at that. <laughs> Connor Burns' teammates are pretty excited about that. Aw, I love it. Connor Burns ran 4.02 indoors, 4.06 last week, and now he will represent Southern Boone High School in the sub four club, in the top 10 club all time. And Carrie, I feel like we are rewriting these record books every single year, whether it's Hobbs Kessler, whether it's Reed yep. Brown at Festival of Miles in 2017, Drew Hunter, Colin Salmon in 356 that he just ran to go third all time. I mean, what a time to be running this race if you yeah. are a miler in the United States. And I'm sure these athletes are saying, why not me, right? They're right there. Connor Burns, 402 indoors. Why not me? He's so close. And, you know, it's just fun when you see all these other athletes that are your age doing it. And it just is, it's, it's addictive sort of, or, you know, contagious, like I said. It's just, you want to be a part of the group. And being a part of the sub four group is pretty special. There's not that many athletes out there. I think this year was the first year we cracked 500 or something like that. You know, there's just right. really, there's not that many athletes that have gone under four minutes still to this day. Pretty unbelievable. Paul Ryan taking it in 355.95. Certainly have to give him credit for closing Gary in 55.98 officially Ooh. over that last 400. And nobody else was under 57 on their final 400. He went under 56. And there he is, Paul Ryan, introduced as our final winner of the night. Webb in third in 357.54. Ansi in second in 356.87. So a Pretty photo awesome for night. them. We are going to take a quick break, and we get you one more interview. We wrap up the competition after this, a fun night, and we hear from our winners. Coming up, the St. Louis Track Club Men's Mile. Much more to recap here at the Hoka 2022 Festival of Miles.